is Robert ag here again, back with another video. This time I'm going to review a tablet PC that I bought at Walmart. Well, Walmart.com. But it, I don't, it, it's a Android tablet that only that costs about thirty-five dollars before tax. So here it is. My tablet. As you can see, I haven't done much to change it, but it has the typical Android features. As you can see it, and I can turn it landscape, and it changes to landscape. So, the specifications that I, that are basically on, on the website before you buy it, is, well, this is an RCA Voyager, 7 inch tablet, so yes, as a, as you can see, a 7 inch display, and it's measured diagonally, so here to here is, is this, the, the display so of course it has the typical Google assistant or Google now so you can just say okay Google and tell it what you want and it has um, it has widgets as well Let me So this is it's a now according to the website it has a quad core processor which sometimes once in a while which occasionally actually acts as a dual core processor I mean it's decent it's good it's got Android 6.0 Marshmallow so it is very close to NuGet it has the typical passcode or pattern, which I use a pattern, um, has a front facing camera right here and 16 gigabytes of internal storage, so that means I can put more apps on this thing. Unlike, unlike the, pre the uh, previous version of the, of the Kindle, Fire, which only gives you 8 gigabytes at the very base model. 8 gigabytes of internal storage. Mostly talks about Apple, but just apps that you can put on there. Of course, you got a little notifications bar right here, and from there you can uh, change the brightness, auto rotate, location, Bluetooth, uh, and and Wi-Fi as well and it displays also the battery power which I'll get to it's got Wi-Fi of course and Bluetooth 4.0 the latest version of Bluetooth and it also in the back has a speaker right here and a micro SD card slot right there along with the power button an auxiliary jack, a data transfer port, which is micro USB, and a DC 5 volt power adapter, which which it comes with it. Which this is kind of what it is. And as you can see here, it's got the typical power brick, and then this is the DC adapter. So it's based so and also the dis display resolution is 1024 by 600 so the performance is really fast I've been able to get some really good response out of this thing and it loads pretty easily so
course, they say haunted the Play Store is not but I, there's one app that I found a workaround to actually get the APU.APK file and install it. So, that's how And it comes with a user manual, a Walmart app, the Sam's Club app, and also the, the Voodoo app, which the VUD so this particular app um, is similar to Netflix. Except um, of course the U version Bible app, as well as the National Library Service. So, uh, a few ish, a few minor, minor issues that I've had with it is, you know, when the device is on, the bottom can get very, can get pretty hot when it moves, but it doesn't burn up like the uh, Samsung Galaxy S, the Samsung Galaxy Galaxy S. It can get hot, pretty hot, so just be aware of the temperature on the bottom. You can just feel it. The voice assistant, which is uh, Google Now, is pretty laggy. So it, it takes a while for Google Now to start up when you say, OK, Google. So, okay, of course, 16 gigabytes gives a lot, enough space for most apps, and, and the SD card slot hold, can hold up to 428 gigabytes of, of micro SD. Of course, the DC, DC cord, so you, you can charge this thing via the DC cord as provided by RCA, or you can get a micro USB charger to do the same thing. For example, from like an Android um, smartphone. So, the cost was $37 after taxes. So, uh, of course, I said $35 in the beginning of the video. That did not include tax. So, after taxes on Walmart.com, so the the total cost would be thirty seven dollars. It's very customizable, as you can see. Um, you, it'll you can customize your notifications, which I've I've made it to be notifications on the lock screen, and you can also. There's three buttons. This this first this uh, first one here is the Google Assistant, and the second one is the lock screen. That's how you un unlock the device, and you put your pa pet your pattern or whatever in there. And the, this one here, closest to the camera, is the camera. Ironically enough, and you can just swipe, swipe to to get the camera. And of course, it has 
the traditional things. So, you kind of flick up. You kind of, yeah, you kind of flick up before I do anything. Okay. It also has a 3.5 millimeter audio jack, which is just for an auxiliary cable. So it's an eighth of an inch. I already told you about speakers. The volume control is down here. This big long, this big long uh, one here. That's the volume control. I don't think I can tear this thing apart, so I'm not gonna. I'm not very good at that, so I'm probably not gonna do that. So I've done a battery, a battery test that the average discharge time. You know, for average, for like average use, if you if you don't play if you don't play on it for too long, it would be approximately a day, roughly. But I'd play about 22, between 22 to 29 hours. Of course, that kind of averages to about a, like 24 hours with uh, with with rest so as long as you give it some rest you're okay so my rating for this is about a 7 out of 10 it's pretty good but it still it does lag a little bit especially the voice assistant and and some sometimes Google Chrome doesn't pop up when you tap it. Other than that, it's it's a great tablet, and it, it and it has it fits what I need. So that is my review of the RCA Voyager seven-inch tablet. Oh, 16 gigabyte. I think there's an eight gigabyte version as well, but don't get that. You need you need the 16 gigabyte version. Okay. Um. I'm going to go for now and see y'all for my on my next video.